we start the book of Bereshit this coming Shabbat. It's exciting, a new start, a new beginning, something fresh, and hopefully with good things going forward. Now, the book of Bereshit, and of course the parish of Bereshit, are filled with so much drama, so much intrigue, so many interpersonal relationships going on, that I find as a rabbi there's so much to talk about, so much to analyze. And each year as we read it, we see it with different perspectives, with different lenses. Now, one of the stories in this parish, as we know, is the unfortunate story of Kai and Cain killing his brother Hevel, killing Abel. And the commentators go to town on this, you know, analyzing, trying to understand what occurred. A very simple explanation, really, that I was reading. If you look at the wording of the Torah, Cain kills his brother, but before he does so, God, as we know, accepts his brother's offering, but doesn't accept Cain's own offering. And then the Torah tells us that Cain was angry and he fell on his face. And what we have been told over here, that we're, there was really two things going on with Cain, two very dangerous traits, two very dangerous emotions in a sense, that could unfortunately lead at times to something very, very nasty and dangerous, as in this case. And the first is jealousy. Cain saw that his brother's offering had been accepted. And this ate into Cain. He said, how could it be that his offering was being accepted? I want what he has. How often do we at times look around and say, I want that, I want this person has. The Torah is telling us, stop. You don't know what's going on in someone else's backyard. Even if you think that I want what that person has, you never know what until you stand in that person's shoes. What you have is what you need, is what God wants for you. And what Cain should have said is, Hashem accepted that offering, that's okay. Let me try and think about why he didn't accept my offering. Instead of trying to focus on the other person, look at how can I improve my ways, as God told him, and that my offering can be accepted. Look internally. And the second aspect is very connected and very similar, but that is, unfortunately, Cain fell on his face and, and the Sforno explains that he felt, in a sense, he didn't feel valued. He didn't feel he was important. He didn't feel that he had self-worth. And again, a very crippling and very damaging uh, emotion and attribute that can happen when a person doesn't st stops to believe in themselves. They don't think that they have worth. The great thing about Judaism is it teaches that each and every single one of us, as long as we're still breathing, as long as we're still alive in this world, Hashem has chosen each of us to be in this world for a particular reason. We are important. We are valued. No matter who we are, no matter what our background is, Hashem wanted you and me and you and you and you and you. And unfortunately, Cain fell into the trap of starting to feel, well, if Hashem didn't accept my offering, there must be something wrong with me. I'm not valued. I'm not a, I'm not a, I don't have any self-worth. And that can be very, very dangerous. And, very, and it can almost set an avalanche of emotions, of depression. And at times, if a person does get too steeped in that, in that feeling, of course, they might need to see and seek professional help to go to a counselor, to go to a psychologist. But even to build on our resilience, to build on our mental health, to make sure that we don't fall into that trap, is to start rem keep reminding ourselves that we are valued, that we do have something special. Each of us has a portion of God inside us. And so if we think about these two messages, if you start to feel like you're being je you know, feeling jealous about someone else, remember, work on yourself. Remember, you don't know what's going on in that person's, in their whole story. And second, if you start to feel a little bit yeah, I'm not worthy. I don't have that self-value, that self-worth. Keep reminding yourself that Hashem has chosen you. Hashem values you, each and every one of us. We are a part of God. Wishing you a wonderful Shabbos, a beautiful Shabbat Bereshit. Let's take this beginning and charge it in positivity, in goodness. And please God with blessings and health going forward. Shabbat Shalom and a wonderful weekend ahead.